Good morning. I think it's still morning. I am Council Member Adrian Adams, the chair of the subcommittee. We are joined today by Council Members Ku, Miller, and Chin. Council Member Traeger is on his way. Council Member Traeger has entered the room. Today, we will vote to approve with modifications LU410, the Haven Green Senior Housing application related to property located in Council Member Chin's district in Manhattan. Submitted by HPD pursuant to Section 576A2 of the Private Housing Finance Law and Section 197-C of the City Charter, the application requests approval for the disposition of city-owned property located at 199-207 Elizabeth Street, 222-230 Mott Street, Block 493, Lot 30, to the project sponsor. The proposed action would facilitate the development of a new seven-story building with 123 affordable housing units for seniors, with on-site supportive services, community facility space, a community room, storefront retail space, and public open space. Given the level of public discourse surrounding this application, I would like to take a moment to acknowledge everyone, everyone, who came to testify both for and against this project. Your voices were heard, and this project is better for it. Through negotiations with the Haven Green Development Team, city agencies, and the adjacent building owner at 21 Spring Street, we feel we have secured commitments that represent a balanced project that will bring community benefits to the neighborhood and the broader city for decades to come. In addition to the on-site open space, we have a letter of intent from the owner of the neighbor neighboring building at 21 Spring Street that memorializes a commitment to work with the council, HPD, and the development team to preserve the affordability on that site and to work to create a larger connected open space between the two sites. We give our sincere thanks to the owners of 21 Spring Street, the DeMatteis organization for their willingness to engage with us to preserve affordability and improve the open space on both sites. We have also strengthened the integrity of this project by ensuring the open space will be preserved in perpetuity and become open to the public for approximately 12 hours per day, depending on the season. There will be a detailed maintenance and repair plan that will be enforced by city agencies to ensure the open space is publicly accessible and well-kept. This project has a 60-year term regulatory agreement which has been strengthened to incentivize permanent affordability. I know this has been a difficult conversation, but I also know that the debate has led to a better project and a better outcome overall, and I want to thank everyone again for their commitment to all of these issues. We will now vote to approve with modifications. Oh, Council Member Chin, we look to you for remarks if you have any today. I just wanted to thank everyone involved. It's been a long journey, and I ask my colleagues to support this wonderful project. Thank you. And thank you to our chair. Welcome back. Thank you, Council Member Chin. We will now vote to approve with modifications CPC's decision on the Haven Green application, pre-considered LU410. Council, please call the roll. Adams. I vote aye. Koo. Aye. Miller. Aye. Traeger. Aye. By a vote of four in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and with zero abstentions, the item is recommended for referral to the full land use committee, and the vote is held open. This vote will be held open for 10 minutes. Thank you.